Welcome back. back. Oh, that's a voice. To basement. basement. Video podcast. With your host, John. And Alex. And producer Andrew. Nice. What did we watch today, John? I didn't watch it today. Got it down that time. Took me and Andrew fucking three days to go through this thing. Yeah, yeah the thing was hard. How long did I did actually for me it actually did take like two days, two and a half days. Uh well Andrew watched it and probably I haven't finish finished it. it. You didn't finish it? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I got pretty far, I think. I don't where did you end up? I don't remember. So how do you know? Wait, what? How do you know how far you got? Because it felt like forever. It's funny how this movie's like what an hour and like thirty minutes, not even. Like an hour thirty-five. Something yeah. Like that. Oh, James and the That's Giant it. Peach was like not. I just looked at the time. I was like, this is a one-hour movie. It's like really short. I was like, what the fuck? Really? It was. Yeah. It was they like both felt 10, a lot longer. longer. Yeah. But definitely, I, I know we're gonna piss. Off, I'm gonna piss off a lot of people. I did not enjoy watching this movie. It was very. It was slow. It was just a very slow process for me to go through it. Maybe because it took you two days. It, because I couldn't, like, it. I just, every time I watched it, I'm, like, trying to sit. You don't like awkward things, though. That's probably why. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess maybe that is the case. Because I don't like The Office, either. And then The Office's humor is nothing this but awkward. Like the office, this is nothing like this. I, awkward, I can't. but. I like The Office, but I did not care for this. Yeah, I'm not the kind of person who, like, goes and looks at cringe things and thinks that's funny. I hate cringe, Said awkward moments. I'll say it again. Ironic. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Just how nice you are to me sometimes. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I like about that movie. I was just done. I, I like the concept I of the that. fact that like there's a guy that just goes like. I, I was laughing when he was riding his bike and he just he has a fucking speaker and he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he sees the like he's riding his bike. He sees those kids doing the fucking like the BMX tricks. Yeah. And he's just like, oh yeah. And he just puts his legs to the side. He puts his legs to the other side. Spins around. And he's like, and he falls on the end, doesn't he? And he's like, I meant to oh, do yeah, that. <laughs> I actually meant to do that. <laughs> and they didn't even say anything. And then he like jumps off a roof in yeah. front of them and stuff. It's pretty Come sick. On. I mean, it's weird because like in the beginning of the movie, he has like no skills with his bike. But then at the end, he like, he's like fucking James Bond with his bike. He has like jetpacks. He has oil slicks. He has like all these. Like, oh, yeah. in the movie? Yeah. Actually, That's on him, but... I watched the whole movie. Because I saw when he goes to the drive-in To theater. watch the movie they made about him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I watched that whole movie uh, in the movie. And then I saw the credits and I was like, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's really... You didn't like Francis? Okay, so Francis me sucks. and you, like, on random occasions, we would watch episodes of Pee Wee, like, you know, Pee Wee Show. I like the Christmas one, I think, yeah. we watched together. How, this, this came movie, out first. This so, movie's like a completely different, like, so this... Pee-wee, was never, I don't think, meant to be for kids. Because mm. before this movie, even, he had, like, an HBO special. And he was just, like, a weird guy. He would go on, like, late night shows and, like, be, like, that character. Like, he would go on David Letterman and shit. And, like, I remember one episode of David Letterman I watched, or interview. And he would just be like, oh, Pee Wee, heard you went to, like, Cuba this last week. You got any pictures? He'd, like, show him pictures of him doing weird stuff. He's like, and me, and blah, blah, blah. He just show, like, weird <laughs> shit. Like, just do his weird. It's just supposed to be a dumb guy. There's, like, <laughs> a lot of weird sexual tension in this Because it's supposed to be, like, it's an adult. I don't, it's not meant for kids, but then, like, the same way RoboCop wasn't meant for kids, but there's toys and cartoons about it. They made a kid's show, Pee Wee's Playhouse, about Pee Wee. Well, it's the fact that fucking Robocop is a kind of a cool, like, toy. No, I know, thing. but that's a rated R movie. Yeah. And Pee Wee was supposed to be more towards adults at the beginning. It's just, like, definitely, like, there are parts of the movie where it's just, it's really weird. It's, like, it definitely is, like, it. It's like a has it's a kids movie, but then there are some parts that are like it's kind of like borderline close to like adult. Like there it was is. there was a part where like he Pee Wee dresses up as a as a, like, pretends to be a wife for like the guy. Oh, for, no, it, and then this the, has nothing to do with what you're gonna say, but that, that scene, I guess he Paul Rubens channeled his sister and just pretended to be his sister when he dressed up as that way. Very interesting. I mean, there's I guess if it works for acting, that was that didn't get you with the cops like. Can you step out of the car, man? And she's like, what for? <laughs> and he's like, I just want to see that cute little elf. <laughs> and she's like, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> That got me good. It, I felt really <laughs> awkward during that whole scene. It was awkward as It's fuck, awkward, but, but it, what was awkward... He just kept laying on the fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. 
what was really awkward was like, yes, I want to see you in the cute outfit. I was like, this is really weird. And then like he goes back in the car and then he's driving and then the the burglar like looks at him. And he's like, he's like, he's still like doing the character. When they yeah. He, and also yeah. the cop is like almost like, you know, I, I thought he was like trying to be like, hey, this guy's a nice guy. He helped me out. But it also like gave out like this weird vibe. It was like, he looks kind of cute in that dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when he looked at him, well, like, I was like, okay, can I stop? Like, this yeah, it was pretty uncomfortable to see. That was like. hilarious. The reason why is because he's a prisoner, right? So maybe him seeing this dress was like he, because you know he's like he hasn't seen any this action. Could be my bitch. Yeah, <laughs> but like, uh, the reason he was laying on him was to hide the handcuffs. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew that. Oh, yeah. But then what Alex was saying is, as the, they were already dri driving away, and he looks over and Pee Wee's still dressed as a girl, <laughs> and he's just, yeah. like, just chilling. And he's just like, he looks at like, him oh, and this is kind of nice. Yeah, you get that he, feeling. Kinda, <laughs> he kind of likes the situation going on. <laughs> it's like so and weird. Then this, like, we're let's just, we're jumping ahead, obviously, but we'll just talk about this. And then, like, they switch driving and the inmate, what's his name, Mickey? Mickey takes a nap. And Pete was just driving. He's just like, oh, turn up ahead. Watch I love that thing. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, I'll loop around. And then another loop around. He's like, ah, ah. And then and they're, they're just falling rocks. They're continuously <laughs> just falling, just screaming. And then the fucking, what's that called? Uh, the the, convertible the top? roof? Yeah, yeah. it just like, they, they just <laughs> land perfectly. <laughs> yeah, it parachutes them down. And then when he drives off, there's no damage to the car or well, nothing. nothing happened. They landed The perfect. roof is fine. Like, they folded it back <laughs> up and everything. Why is this more funny talking about it than actually watching the movie? I watched this movie, and I was like, I'm not laughing. I'm like, okay, the this is hilarious. <laughs> it's funny to... I wish I watched it. Maybe I had. A, I would have had a different experience if I was watching with you guys. But to me, I'm like... I wish I watched it with someone, too, because, like, it was painful alone. I loved it. I hate I that it guy. Alone, I like, the but then, like, they land safely, and the guy's like, I can't... Like everything was just fine. They had a really, really like kind of like awkward moment where he like he, I thought he was like gonna flirt with him or something. But then like they're driving and they're like having a good time. And now he's like, listen, I don't think this is gonna work, Pee Wee. I it's not. I'm a dangerous man. I'm alone. Like he did. He did the same thing he did. The <laughs> he did the same thing he did to Donnie. <laughs> and that I, was probably my favorite part of the whole movie. And the Pee was like, wait a minute, <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> yeah. Whether they're getting away, he's talking to Donnie. She's like, well, you want to go? Listen, Donnie. Uh. I'm a loner. I, you don't want to get messed around with a guy like me. I'm kind of a rep. And then he walks away. He's walking out of the fucking bike shop. <laughs> and she's just well, like, Aww. The whole time he's in the shop after he says that, he's trying not to laugh. No, I know. Yeah. I mean, he's just like, wow. <laughs> I, just, I actually just said that to her. <laughs> he's, he totally has hey, like the, the magic pop shop. When he goes to the x-ray specs, it looks like he's like, oh, <laughs> 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 oh my god did you like you usually like those things at the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. what? what's what's it called the Rube Goldberg machine oh yeah I love those yeah. I definitely love those and I love the music play. Uh, well obviously that's where the music well music the music came. yeah let's talk about it mm -hmm. So Tim Alex, just, I can picture once you move out, your house is just I'm gonna have a Rube Goldberg those, machine like going around. Are you kidding everywhere. Me? Like you wake up, he yeah, pulls string and brushes off. your teeth. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you're like, hey, I, Andrew, uh, what's that 3D printer do, huh? <laughs> Could you uh, Rube Ru Goldberg's machine for me? Uh, I would uh, not. That, to me, like, his, stuff like that's just too much of a mess. I, so much, It's so much shit cluttering everything. It doesn't even look nice. I mean, it could, it's, yeah, but it's yeah, cool but that it makes He does everything. all that. And then it makes some nice breakfast. Then he pours Mr. T cereal all over it. Eats like three pieces. He's like, <laughs> and wipes his face. Okay, great. Okay, but Alex, breakfast. yeah. What? Imagine the machine refined and like modernized and no. sleek. No one knows how to take care of me but me. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're gonna we're gonna make it for you. <laughs> oh God, you know. Okay, I don't. Never mind. I don't want you to make anything for me that takes care of me. Okay. <laughs> the fuck was that heckle? Exactly. So, <laughs> I, I just realized that a lot of the movies that I liked have, like, Rubo, yeah. yeah, so Flubber, Casper, Flubber. Back to the Future, the, doesn't Doc Brown have someone? Yes, like he that? does, actually. It's yeah. a, yeah, it's he. not as crazy, but yeah. Uh, so, Flubber, Back to the Future, this movie, Casper. Um, what's that uh, Robin Williams movie where he's, like, a toy maker? Uh, to toy. Is it called yeah, just called toy? toy, yeah. I, there's that one, I think, too, right? I haven't never seen that movie, actually. Really? Yeah. Okay, we gotta watch it, then. I think nobody really watches that movie, but it's actually kind of a good movie. Yeah. So I'm not going to watch that. But yes, it's a lot of those uh, 
uh, I, I just like it. I just think it's kind of like fun. It's an interesting idea that like, you know, people are so smart, but they don't have enough time to like actually do the day-to-day lives that they just like invent things to do that shit for them. But it's always like kind of like, because the, the pancake maker just like flips and it gets stuck yeah, to the ceiling. Yeah. But it falls on the plate. One. He's Only breakfast. one side's cooked though. <laughs> It's yeah, fine. You only eat the one side. Oh, he didn't even eat the pancake. Can't can imagine. Just can't imagine. He ate yeah. three pieces of Mr. T cereal that he put on the plate himself. <laughs> I have pity the fool. That's what he said. <laughs> I was reading facts about this movie. And obviously, it was someone that was too young. They're like, Mr. T cereal was a real thing. That wasn't made up for the movie. I was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously. obviously. Dumb fu- <laughs> yeah, like who? Oh, fuck. Why are people so, like. Well, they're know. young. It's probably someone that wasn't alive. To know that Mr. T cereal was a thing. Well, to be fair, I did not know that the uh, when we watched the Osmosis Jones movie, the Buffalo Wild Wing thing. I thought that was an actual like event, but apparently it came, became an event because of the movie. Now, yeah, this yeah. movie was a lot of firsts. It's Pee Wee, Tim Burton's first, Danny Elfman's first. It's good. I, but like, what I was saying before we went on this like whole like oh well, remember this remember that uh, Pee Wee. Like the show, like you said, like he he's a, he's just supposed to be a guy like an adult guy that's just like really weird. But the show is like the his show is supposed to be for kids, but it's also like really weird too. Yeah. Like me and John, whenever we were like just hanging out, we would randomly like watch an episode or two, and I thought it was really funny, but like weird at the same time. Because remember he would like read fan letters, like we got a letter from Susie, yeah. and then Susie's like, I had a pet rabbit. But my mom and dad didn't want me to keep it, so I burned the house down. <laughs> so like, and then at the end, she, he's like, whoa, things got a little crazy in that one. <laughs> like, yeah, that's great. They like, don't screen that shit? Prior? <laughs> they probably wrote that themselves. Yeah, that's a little wild. That's awesome. <laughs> Giant underpants! <laughs> 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 okay, never mind. Maybe I need to watch this movie again. <laughs> That's dope. It's. I think I just like him being constantly crazy because, like, when I'm watching the movie, he is crazy, but then he also has like this, like, he's an actual still, like, he can function as an adult. Like, yeah. it's weird. Like, he has like he almost like split personality where like he has like a child side, but then he has like an actual adult size yeah. aside. Yeah. Where like, um, what happened? He had to pay off, so he worked at the cat. He had washing dishes or whatever. What? Remember when he like he was trying to travel to Texas? He didn't to have he, his wallet. He didn't, oh, oh yeah, he yeah, forgot yeah, his wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it got stolen by the fortune teller. Yeah. <laughs> Did you even watch the movie? Convagly, I told you. Convagly. Convagly. Mm. Fortune and teller. Was, that was kind of yeah, funny. Alamo yeah. uh, basement. <laughs> <laughs> the Alamo. <laughs> yeah, the, and it's just I don't know. Listen. Then he goes the, for like a two-hour tour of the Alamo. Yeah. And he's like, "You gonna show us the basement?" No <laughs> I love how oh, you know okay uh, J- the per- the tour guide is Jane Hook she was in Saturday Night Live, but uh, she's dead now. But <laughs> apparently she ad libbed that whole scene. Like, oh, it's all, she... like none of that was written. She just said everything she said to them as they were touring was just her talking. Really? Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. That's what, awesome. Were they facts? Like, what, did she like like the Alamo, or did she just like randomly just? I think she was not... just randomly talking. I think that's like, fucking. She's talking about all the corn. That's bloody stuff. brilliant, mate. But, There's uh, thousands of uses of corn. I'm gonna go through all of them yeah. now. <laughs> it's cold. A gray lump of knobs. A gray lump of knobs. What kind of corn do you eat? It's you know, gray. You guys never heard that song? No. No, you're singing it wrong. You said a gray lump with knobs. A great lump of knobs. It's a big, big lump of knobs. You're right. Okay. With, lo- it has the juice. <laughs> It has the juice. Uh, you, you add butter to it. No, it, Tupac you, has you the add, juice. You add butter to it, and it changes everything. You're yeah. gonna fucking pull yank something. Pull yank. Pull yank. You're gonna weird yell Yankovic that thing right out of there. I'll pull your all the Yankovic out of you. <sighs> all right. But <laughs> what did you think of Large Marge? There's so much about this movie that I just like I want to talk about. Like I want to talk about like how he just like goes for a bike ride and it's like, it's my birthday and I get to have whatever. Francis is horrible. <laughs> is Francis in the you show? Know, like remember him? He's from uh, Leprechaun One. He's the dumb the guy in the overalls yeah, the fa- that yeah, eats yeah, yeah. the coins. <laughs> Why, uh, why did he eat the coins? We'll talk about that when we do Leprechaun. <laughs> okay, fine. But yeah, he's like, I, I can have whatever I want for my birthday. Gee, Francis, that's nice. And I want no, your bike. No. <laughs> he said, my father said I could have anything I want for Good for you and your father. <laughs> I don't know why I make him sound like Christian Slater. But... Yeah. 
And his house is like he's the master is bathing right now, and his fucking bathroom is just like this it's massive. Just a giant pool. That's a tub, apparently. That's dope, though. I guess it's he's cool. playing fucking ships. That'd be. A Can good you time. imagine how much water? My like, I like to take. All baths. right, drain the bath. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> Jesus, what a waste of water. That hurts to watch that yeah. scene, and then it's just like, Pee Wee, would my son ever do such a thing? Yeah, he's like, I. I love those just two like. 30-something year old men, 40-something year old men, however the old they are at the time. It's hilarious. His dad, we've been building his birthday train set all day. He couldn't have stole your bike. And then it shows that he actually did. Like, I he love how he, some greasy guy. He, 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 he parks his bike and he just like pulls out this like 50-foot long line. Just straps it to the clown, <laughs> even though there's bike racks everywhere. <laughs> he, I like the shot, though, when he shows him walking up where it's just his feet. And you just see the bag drop like, when he realizes. <laughs> I feel like that was cool. Andrew's so involved in this right now. Oh, yeah. Pee Wee's dope. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't think anything was funny in that movie? You hated it 10 minutes ago. I, I hated it. I, that pacing. I thought it was bo- like a lot of the parts were boring. Like, I hated it. No, it's part- okay. It's funny you both say this because this movie. So, Phil Hartman and Paul Rubens, who is, who is Pee Wee, wrote this movie on the guidelines of like uh, uh, some guy wrote a book. I don't know the guy's name, but he wrote a book of how to make. Like the perfect movie according to this, like the where the first act ends, second act, the climax, and they wrote it whatever like perfect ninety minute movie, perfect act structure, to the point where this movie is used in like college and university courses to, for to train people how to write scripts. This is what they think, or is this true? This is true. Wow, really? So this movie is used in like college and university courses to, as like how, what's a perfect how to, movie? This like because this tech this script is technically perfect the way it was written because it was written like exactly how like this just picture this book as timing like, the, the the timing the way things ended in the acts and everything. I get. I don't know. I mean, like to me, it definitely had like a lot going on, and it was like there wasn't scenes that that were. Like every scene had a purpose to it, you know what I mean? That's what you don't want that. No, I it's it's just that like it it didn't grab my like for example like the scene where he like it brings the whole town and he's like exhibit That's A hilarious. my pencil That's so- what does my pencil have to do with this you might be asking what does this have to do with this I don't know. <laughs> You keep bringing up things that are, you didn't like, and now you're dying laughing about them, you fuck. Because I'm talking them with you. Because it's hilarious. <laughs> and like, Pee-wee, we've been here for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But that scene where like he's like, I don't need you, Angelica. That hurt me. Like, not he's a, like Her name's not Angelica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the voice of Tommy Pickles. Her name's Dottie in the movie. Yeah, I, thought her I don't name. need the police, and I don't need you, Dottie. Oh, jeez. And then I remember, like, I was, I had it in the background, the movie, and he, That's your problem, why you don't like half the movies you don't like, because you don't pay attention while you're watching. <sighs> well, I mean, I watched James. I, I really sat, gave this movie a chance. That's what I mean. Both I, of you always do that. I, no, I did. I did, too. I actually... I tried sitting down and watching it, but I just couldn't. You just said it was in the background. Well, I bro. Have, there's half... I, I told you before, I, I had two days to watch this movie. Well, I tried to watch this movie. The first day, I actually did sit down and watch it, and I was just like... I literally gave this movie my undivided attention. Undelighted attention? Undelighted <laughs> attention, yeah. Usually. <laughs> and, uh... Like most of I times. mean, I, I think it was it was a good story. They got the, the point across and everything. I just hate the what character. What was the point? He had to get his bike. <laughs> he had to get his bike. He, lost he went his through bike, nine rings of hell. hell. Oh, yeah, when he's driving around Mickey, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, just smiling, the bike drives by him on the track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually hurt, by the way, just, like, the fact that, like, the bike is, like, right there. I thought, like, because I'm thinking to myself, like, maybe the bike is actually conveniently going to the the album yeah, somehow. I don't know, but I guess not. And then, wait, so, like, some kid just, that was the thing, too. Is like, There's I didn't like show. how, like, because, obviously, he has to eventually find his bike, right? He busts through the, he, he gets in an accident, he hurts himself, and then he, like, he's in the hospital. Right the and then the hospital, he's, like... Here's the news, and the news happens to talk about like Billy finds the bike, and it's just no, like no, no, it's not he found the bike. They brought the bike to the Hollywood studio to film because it was gonna be the bike in that show. But why so special about this bike? Normally, have you seen the bike? It's not a normal bike. It's pretty fucking dope. The <laughs> scene where he's head on yeah, it, he could go. <laughs> <laughs> but that to me, that's just I, I think that's not very good writing. I think that's to me when I saw that, I was like, okay, so obviously they have to continue the plot. Yeah. It, it's not organic in a way. Like, I don't know. Movies aren't organic. They're not made out of fruit. Oh, my God. You know what I mean, though? It's like 
The, How would you like a movie about a forty-year-old man <laughs> trying to find his bike to find his bike? How would you like that to go? You I, want? Would you want it to the bin at the Alamo? I like to maybe like maybe the the fat rich asshole had like a he like oh the guilt's getting to me. He calls Pee Wee's like listen. We already had that scene. He did. Not where he calls Pee Wee. Where he's just like I don't want to deal with this anymore. That's yeah, but he, that's his, that's their version of that. What you just said though. Yeah, it's just like. I love how it's just like, like he said, he's a 30 year old. He's like, and this guy, he's trying to like, yo, I did your dirty work for you. Oh, you stole a bike. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just, it's, I didn't realize it was too much a headache. I just don't want it anymore. That's going to cost He was on to us. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's, <laughs> he's not letting up. Jesus Christ. Called us for a bike. And then, <sighs> and then the end, he's like, none of this would have happened to you, Pee Wee, if it wasn't for me. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Yeah, but he got what he deserved. Yeah, he got, he got catapulted. Like E.T. up in yeah, the moon. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, All right, talk about other scenes you didn't like, and I'll convince you why they're good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, oh, what my point was, like, when I, what I was saying, how I had in the background was, because um, he was cleaning the dishes, right? And the lady who worked at the restaurant, like, was like... The one that liked him? Yeah, yeah, he's like, can I just talk to you? Like, you seem like a nice guy that can, that, like, he's you know, really good at listening or whatever. Yeah. And so they go to the dinosaur head, and then she's like, she just, like, said something about, like, her big butt or something like that. Go on. No, I'm. I'm. Just, I'm I, I, he said. He said something. 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 It's okay to have a big butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she said. Remind you of the seat from like uh, Good Burger when they're sitting, or even Wayne's World when they're sitting on the car. That's literally what that seat is. It's like Wayne's World when they're sitting on the car talking about nothing, or Good Burger when he's talking about how his. his <laughs> what's he? He's the uh, Keenan's the character talking about how he doesn't have his dad's not there or whatever. He's like. Yeah, I miss my dad, too. <laughs> I haven't seen him since this morning. It's just we're like a serious things happening, and the one stupid character makes it funny. <sighs> I guess, it, well, well, either way, I was, like, half listening. Well, the whole point was it was supposed to make it seem like, or come out of context. Yeah. So that the guy <laughs> listening would be like, oh, shit, he just fucked my wife or yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, it's a big, ca- big guy. He yeah. sees for the rest of the movie randomly. Yeah. And then it's like he they come out of the dinosaur and like Big Al it's just <laughs> he's like ready to fucking just destroy Pee Wee and like yeah. turn him into a pretzel. Then he uh tur- I love how Pee Wee's like literally a master of disguise. He's dressed as a sister, he turns into a cowboy and he the does the cowboy was the best. <laughs> that was pretty what fun. What was it? Okay, you ever see Buckaroo Bonsai? No. Okay, so Pee Wee's suit Buckaroo Bonsai came out in eighty four. This movie came out in eighty five. Pee Wee has like the same literally outfit as one of the main characters, and then the, uh, the other cowboy character from that movie is the exact cowboy that Pee Wee dresses up really? as in this movie. <laughs> nice. And then he gets like bucked off that bull, and he gets fucked up, and then everyone's like, "Pee Wee, I mean, kid, you all right?" He's like, "Do you remember anything?" I was like, "I remember." Yeah, what does he say? He remembers. He doesn't remember. He's like, he doesn't from... remember his name. He doesn't the remember Alamo. His... He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember." <laughs> The Alamo, yeah! Like everyone's just like taps, like throws their cowboy hats yeah. in the air, and everyone celebrates. And then it's just like, and then yeah, after that he goes to the hospital, and he remembers like, oh yeah, my bike is in California apparently. Yeah. And uh, he dresses as a nun. He's like, I'm just gonna expect this bike. <laughs> he inspired me so much. I'm gonna start a paper route right now. <laughs> and <this drives away. laughs> everyone's like, excuse me, uh, we're not, hello. And the director instantly checks the script. <laughs> Oh my god! And he like, goes through. I wrote that shit. And then he goes through like I love how he goes through like several like he goes through like a, a Death Leopard like a music video, and then he goes yeah. through like um d- a, a the, Godzilla, the Tarzan, Godzilla, Godzilla. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Which, by the way, why does God? Why would Godzilla be there? Because it's like that's a Toho animation, not a Warner Brothers anime or a thing. It's just, it's just going. Mm, fuck it, yeah. I guess. It wasn't like exact movies. It was just random movies. Yeah, fair enough. And then, the Christmas scene, then Santa's yeah. chasing him with his sled. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then he gets back and he saves like a, a pet shop or whatever. And then, like, s- and then they were like, He's this hesitating. man's a hero. No, this man stole the bike or whatever. Yeah. And he's-, he's hesitating to save the snakes the whole time. <laughs> I feel like that's something Ernest would like uh, yeah. would do. <laughs> this is, this is like the same basically type the same character. Kind of is the same character, yeah. Ish. Ish. He's just Southern Pee Wee. Well, because Ernest just started as commercials, and then people liked him. Oh, really? He was just like a commercial for like that local channel or whatever it was. I actually really like... They're, okay, now that I think about it, they're, they're both like master of disguise. They're both like adults, yeah. but they act like kids. It's just... I kind of... I, I, I wish I watched more of those when I was like little. Pee Wee would be like... If I saw that, if I saw Pee Wee's show when I was a little kid, I'd be kind of like scared. I'd be thinking like this wasn't a show meant for me because it's like <laughs> it's kind of off-putting. 
But Ernest is like, I, I think I would enjoy watching Ernest because it just seems like, even though he's acting like a kid, he kind of is like an adult. Like he knows how to like fix things like a dad or something. Like he's like a, a kind of like a handyman kind of person. I don't know. Reliable. I'm just going to keep staring at you until you finish. <laughs> well, Because you keep adding things. As I, I know. Well, I know. I know. You keep, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to like nod or something. Do you know who Danny Elfman is? <sighs> vaguely. What's the vaguely you know about him? Oh, Jesus. You put me on the spot, huh? No, I don't know. Alex, mm-hmm. you know. He's on the table. Kind of. He did the music for this. Oh, okay. So he was in a band called <laughs> Oingo Boingo in the 80s? <laughs> yep. And the only reason that he does move, music for movies now is because Tim Burton went to an Oingo Boingo concert and wanted him to do the music for Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And he was hesitant and didn't want to do it, but then he liked watch, hearing his music be performed by an orchestra, so now he does it all the time. Fuck yeah. He's, one, he's up there with John Williams. Hell yeah. Him and Tim Burton did their first together. Tim Burton was like... This was his first like full-length movie. After this, he did Batman. <sighs> Do you know how much movie this money this movie made? Like, Was it like, when this came out, did everyone well, fucking love it? Well, let's put it this way. Tim Burton did this, and then they let him do Batman. 89. <laughs> and Batman was such a big deal. Yeah, it was. I guess. What do you mean? It really was. It was, was it, Batman what? was huge. 89. Yeah. Are you serious? Batman 89 everyone loved huge. Batman back then. Wait, really? Yeah. Are you fucking dumb? What are you asking about? Bro, when we grew up, like, Batman was still big from those movies. Yeah, okay, we, we enjoyed those movies, but we no, kind of, like... Batman 89, like, literally took over that whole year. It was, like, a huge fucking ordeal. It was, like, a five-year deal. No yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we it came... It spawned three more movies. I know, but, like, I just think to myself, like, yes, we enjoyed them, but, like, deep down, we knew, like, this is, like, no. bat nipples, like, it just... Some no, of this... Batman 89. The with, original one. With the penguin. No, no, that's the second one with the oh, Joker, yeah. Jack Nicholson Joker. Oh, that yeah, one yeah. was huge. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. But that then, one, was, that one was good actually. That was Tim Burton's movie after this. I'm pretty sure. And then what? Then he did that one with the Penguin. Okay, I just felt like. Can you do it for us? Do what? No. Come on, for Tommy. No. For Tommy's newborn. Does he even child. watch this? For Tommy's newborn child. Oh, yeah, Tommy watches. <laughs> Can you do it with a little passion? I don't know how to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there, you there you go. There you go. You happy? More than ever. Okay, Tommy better message me if he sees this. No, I don't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic friends. Classic friends? Like an episode of Friends? No. Are you a Rachel? Oh, no, sorry. He did Beetlejuice before that. Sorry. That's where he met Michael Keaton, and that's why he wanted Michael Keaton to be Batman. Fuck yeah. So he did the big movies he did in, in the row were Pee Wee, Beetlejuice, and then Batman. And then he just went out the fucking box. Edward Scissorhands, Batman Returns, Ed Wood, fucking Mars Attacks, Sleepy Hollow, Planet of the He Eight. did Mars Attacks? Yeah. Big Fish, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, Corpse Bride. He just went on. Pee Wee started it all. I didn't know Big Fish was his. Yep. I should check that and out. Most of his movies. Uh, Danny Which one Elfman was bad? Did. Like he, It seems like he didn't make a single Danny bad Danny Elfman movie. did the Batman scores too. And if you listen to this one, you literally just hear the Beetlejuice score. I guess did so, you yeah. guys like Big Fish? Yeah. I never I saw watched- it. I, never saw I watched it. it when it came out. I watched it on a plane once, and that, that's all. What's I it about? Remember. Give me like a brief. A really big fish. Literally, it's about a story about a big fish. Are you, like an actual. I thought it was like some sort of. Okay. I'll read you the synopsis, buddy. A frustrated son tries to determine the fact from fiction in his dying father's life. But his father always talked about this big fish he almost caught. Yeah. It's basically Moby Dick. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's but a about a fish instead of a whale. Would you, guys ever, would you guys ever watch, like, if they just made Moby Dick a movie? Probably I'm not. I'm sure they have. There's probably, I know there's a cartoon. No, but like a serious, like, live action. Like How Moby have they Dick. not done that? I'm looking it up. They definitely had to have. They had to have. There definitely is. <laughs> You're, like, getting angry. Like, I am angry. <laughs> Moby Dick, the most, like, if not the single most well, quoted, like, most talked about book ever, just like never. 1956, 2011, 1998, 2010, 1930, 2013, 1978, and 2011. So they just haven't made a good one yet? I guess. <laughs> How do you fuck up Moby Dick? I don't know. Where do you get a big ass whale? <clears throat> <laughs> they actually hunt a whale. <laughs> Pinocchio got one. That wasn't even a whale, that was an octopus alien hybrid. Yeah, a whale. Pinocchio? Pinocchio, the live action movie? Maestro? The Monstro. Oh. 
Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I'm talking about the cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon's a whale. Did you see the live action one? I did, but I didn't get to that part. Yet. Yeah, so the live action one is just that like... one's taking me a few weeks to watch. Yeah. Is it that bad? It's, it's not bad. It's I just beat, put it on I, So John was right. It literally is beat for beat, like the exact same as like the cartoon. Like yeah. uh, Geppetto dancing with like the, the cricket get dancing with all the toys that Geppetto has while Geppetto's dancing with uh, the, you know, Pinocchio. Pinocchio meeting. I was surprised they put the the, the uh, fox and the cat like that like trick him right because it's like I don't know it's kind of like out of the nowhere like out of place. Wow. It's well, part of the story. That's how he gets the. How does a fox Stromboli. talk and stand and wear clothes like a human, but not this little kitty cat that Geppetto how keeps? How does a puppet come to life? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> how does a cricket talk? Yeah. I was... Yeah, but the, no one hears the cricket. Like, the cricket always calls for Geppetto, but I, I, to me, it's just it's like... It's only Pinocchio and the fairy that can hear the cricket. Yeah, exactly. Sure. So I just... Assume... And, no, because the cricket, doesn't he talk to the... He talks to the cat and uh, the... Yeah, he does, to the cat, the but it's like... It's cause he's no, an the animal. cat and the fox, not yeah. Geppetto's cat. That's what I'm saying. It's because, like, he's does an he animal. still turn into a donkey and smoke? Yes. Yes. That's... All right. I did not remember this, by the way, like how uh, the ringmaster has shadow monsters... I don't remember that at all, but apparently he does. He has shadow monsters in the show, in the cartoon, and in the live action. I'm like, what? I haven't watched the cartoon in a long time. Neither have I. I just remember Neither. like being really sad because there's there's a scene where like, uh, the boy like slowly turns into the donkey. And he's crying for his mother, and he's literally like, screaming, and also like, you know, I mean, yeah, it's in the cartoon too. like I I was terrified at that scene. Yeah, that's not doesn't do too well in live action. Nope. So Pee Wee. Pee Wee. So how big? How pee do you think his Wee is? I don't know. People that saw him in the porno theater probably have an idea. Probably. Is he still haggle for that? By the way, like, does that still haggle? haunt his? What's he trying to haggle for? Does that still haunt his career? No, he's been in a lot of big shit. He was I, in Blow. I I haven't seen Blow. Really. I think the last time I ever saw Pee Wee was when he was like the Penguin's dad in the Gotham show. He had a Pee Wee special a few years ago on Netflix. I never saw it. It was like a Christmas one with. Uh, John by the genie. No, it was one of with the... Morpheus, <laughs> Cowboy Curtis. I think Ryan Reynolds was in it. Kurt Russell, uh, uh, one of the wrestling guys. I don't know if it was The Rock. Or so, I don't know. It was a good thing. Jason Momoa was in it. That's the guy I'm thinking of. That's a wrestling guy for sure. Yeah, he wrestled on. Uh, uh, Baywatch. I think after talking to you guys and laughing about some of the jokes, I think my view on this movie has changed, and I think my score is going to be a little bit higher than it was before. Well, keep talking. You didn't even talk about the fucking biker bar. Oh, yeah. Well, the girl in the biker bar is Elvira, eh? Without her Elvira costume on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why. Just like when she we were like, let's gut him, let's hang him, let's kill him. He's like, let's let him go. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 How is that not funny? I, um, That's hilarious. <laughs> it's literally like Pee Wee's literally just Bugs Bunny going through <laughs> yeah. all this shit. It's literally just a Looney Tunes character. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking love the scene. I, I'm sorry, I'm like flip flopping between like scenes, but remember he meets that homeless guy on the train. He's like laying yeah. in bed. He's like, oh, <laughs> sardine. They're imported, <laughs> and they're like singing like, oh, she be coming around. And then, like, Pee Wee's, like, getting into it. But then after, like, the fifth... Even Pee Wee, who's always, like, really happy going and loves singing songs, he's just, like... Ah! He, he just, just jumps, jumps off. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm in San Antonio. <laughs> he jumps right in front of the sign. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, back to the bar scene. <sighs> Sorry. Back to the bar scene. I really liked where it's just, like, before you kill him, let me have some fun with him. Like, oh, God. Pee Wee's going to get it fucking smashed. <laughs> Jesus. Can I, uh, what did he say? Can I, uh, one last request? And he sings, they dance to tequila. <laughs> he, and then they take the, he the, the waiter for the his shoes. The waiter for his shoes. The waiter's wearing these fucking like, Escalades. Like, escalades. <laughs> or, not Escalades. What do you call that? Like uh, Gene Simmons fucking platforms. <laughs> Platform shoes. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why was he, he just casually wears that while he's working. Why did he need those to dance to tequila? <laughs> Obviously, he needed those. <laughs> he doesn't even really move his feet unless he walks on his tippy toes. <laughs> oh my god! And then and they, they all, and they so all cool. love him. They give him a bike. <laughs> they make him a member of their gang, and then he crashes into the sign and goes to the hospital. Can we go like meet some like Hell's Angels and just do the same? What were they called? Satan's the servants? Satan's Satan servants. There's, yeah, Satan's helpers. No, that's Satan's little helper from Simpsons. Oh my god! Remember, kids. 
If you were you're falling asleep. If you're falling do a asleep, podcast. <sighs> shit, just go to bed during a podcast. That's what I always do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember that, kids. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, just like uh, if you ever meet bikers, just uh, dance tequila to them, and they'll fucking love you. <laughs> they yelled tequila at the end. <laughs> tequila. Oh my god. Oh, I love how, like, you won't believe where I am, Sally. Or what's her name again? Dottie. Dottie, I'm in Texas. Don't believe me. He just starts singing, like, the fucking, like, yeah, yeah. what did he sing? I don't know the song, but then everyone's like, oh, to Texas. Yeah, Texas and she's just like, oh, of course Pee Wee's in Texas. <laughs> I, he did, I forgot about his dog the whole movie. Then she's just like, oh, I you know, from I know. What was his name? Spot. Spot. Speck? Spot. Is it just no, actually? it was something. I think it was Speck. Her name was Dottie. Yeah. And his name was like Spec or something. Yeah, I think it's Spec. I think you're right. But then he just like, he just left his dog there. Like <laughs> did he leave it with Dottie or did he just dip and I'm sure. like, "Oh, Pee-wee's gone. I got to go." Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the case cuz she actually is good friends with him. So I guess like because he's gone, he, he she will take care of the dog. Yeah. I I won't do anything, I won't do the same for you, Andrew. I will forget your dogs. <laughs> so Thanks, man. Does have to do with that. If thing. Andrew ever goes missing, <laughs> I'll for, completely forget this about his dogs. John, you won't forget, right? No, I guess not. <laughs> Listen, if Nicole and Andrew are missing, we have to rem- take care if of them. If they're missing, the big dog probably ate them. No. No one wouldn't do that. You don't know. They'd probably, he, he'd probably pick up Andrew like a bone and bury him in the backyard. Andrew, we come over Andrew's head just sticking out of the grass. <laughs> My dog thought I was a bone again. What are you going to do? All right, what else didn't you like so I can convince you? Like <laughs> I, I, I liked a lot of that. Okay, so <laughs> didn't like. Um... <laughs> the more I think about what I didn't like, I, I was like, I like the scene how they made it. They, we want to make a, your story is completely outrageous. We don't make a movie out of you, and it's just like, I'm Pee Wee, Pee Wee Herman, like just like, and he's like his character when he's the bellhop, and they don't use his voice at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My big bird's coming up, guys. <laughs> he's just like, hello, a vo- a phone call for you. Phone yes. call for Pee Wee Herman at the front desk. <laughs> he doesn't even, and he just looks at the camera. He's just like, <laughs> he shuffles away. Like, am I supposed to be in this scene? Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's, yeah, that's but, good. Yeah, we talked about everything pretty much. What do you give it out of? Uh, uh, really quick, I do like the dinosaur head because that scene. There's is a lot in, of dinosaurs in this movie. Yeah, there's they. Did that uh, bring back some sexual tension? <laughs> From adventures. It brought back memories City. of a video game I used to play. You never played uh, New Vegas, have you? Fallout no. New Vegas. They have a dinosaur head. Because well, that's a real place. Yeah. They have yeah. that dinosaur you can go in. But that dinosaur head just make me remember that. You ever seen Clifford? No. Not the big red dog? No. So that's a movie. You know the dad from uh, Beethoven? Mm-hmm. Him, I don't know if he marries this girl who has a kid or they adopt a kid. I don't remember how, what the story is. But they're, the kid is Martin Shore, dressed like a kid. <laughs> the, whole, <laughs> the whole movie, and he's trying to fuck with the dad. The whole time. And they end up there, and I think he tries to like, kill him there. It's like a the, the fugitive. You know the fugitive with uh, Harrison Ford? It's like a standoff at the top of the <laughs> thing. I'm pretty sure it's hilarious. <laughs> That's really cool. Isn't like the the movie The Wizard or uh, what about it? Yeah, they go to that. Too. They see the dinosaur. That dinosaur That's the whole point. Is actually to see that dinosaur, isn't it? I think so. Unless I'm confusing other movies. Was that the movie with the power glove? It's yep. so bad. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. But yeah, how many uh, bicycles do you? Uh... That's it. Bicycles. Bicycles, not even customized horns. How many? <laughs> how many? <laughs> <laughs> he just falls over. I guess apparently he had that actually. He actually had the flu in that scene. Really? <laughs> and he had to fall on all the bikes while he was sick. Oh Jesus! All right. So how many hers <laughs> do you give this movie out of ten? Eight. Eight. I think after thinking about it and laughing at all the jokes that I didn't even like with you guys, I think <laughs> I think now I'm gonna give this movie seven out of ten. In terms of actually being a movie. <laughs> What does that mean? Like, yeah, not my a... actual preference. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to say, I don't care what anyone thinks. This is not a movie to me. This is not a world. Not a no, world. no, 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 no. In terms, like, uh, actual movie standards, it's it's probably pretty good. I'd say, like, 8 it has final resolve and everything lines up, checks out, not many But what about holes. you, Andrew? What do you personally think you did this movie? I personally hate Pee-wee as a character. <laughs> you like Ernest. I don't like Ernest as much You enjoyed it last either. year. Not, I, you not even your that ass much. Off at scared stupid. What? You watch scared stupid. You're laughing the whole time. With you, and then, well, that's yeah, the difference. I don't know, cause you make it funnier. But uh, 
You have that. You just have. Like, I don't know what it is. I explain but... things to you guys. <laughs> no, you. You just. Yeah, I don't know. You have something about you makes the movie funny, but <laughs> I don't know. I just can't get into his character. I find him very creepy, and for me, that put me off. What's he I'm gonna give it creepy? like a five. Blue Ernest or Pee Wee? Pee Wee. What's he do that's creepy? Just his everything. His whole demeanor just appears. He's, a, he's an adult that acts like a kid. I mean, I guess that's I creepy. Guess there's not even any kids that he hangs out with. No, it's like his look. The way he looks. Like the everything. lipstick and like the... I don't know. Is it lipstick he actually is? Or is his it? eyes, the way his eyes bulge out and he's like that's, piercing. Ah! He's supposed to be like a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, I get like, that, but he's creepy looking. I think it, he kind of reminds you of like that guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like the, the, the killer cartoon or cartoon or whatever. No, he reminds me of a guy who sits at a playground and watches the kids and has them. He de- I would definitely would not trust that man with my kids. That, that's why there's no kids in the movie. Okay. Well, there is, but he's like kind of like vaguely like, hey, look at this. You know, I have one kid that was in a lot of other shit. I just don't remember what. Yeah. I will say this to, uh, to, for to Andrew. It, it's true. Like, Andrew's like, I would definitely would not like want this well, man yeah, when, when you're my kid. Well, and I'm not saying the actor no. specifically. I mean the character. Yeah. Oh, he... He, he, I didn't know. We know he plays the penguin in Gotham because or Penguin's dad. Remember? Yeah. He was also the uh, you know the girl that had the big boyfriend in this movie. Mm-hmm. Him, Pee Wee, and her played the penguin's parents in Batman Returns with Danny DeVito. No way. Like in the flashback. Yeah. It's awesome. I didn't know. So that's what one of the reasons they brought him back. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. For the Gotham. So eight, seven, and two. Uh, like three. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. A little, a little All more right. modest. Huh? Yeah. All right, give, All right. us, give us a Pee Wee outro. Well, thanks for watching the show with us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. <laughs> I, I, you guys gave me a look. I was Finish like, it. I'll see you around next time. <laughs> I'll see you again. This is Basement Video Podcast. All right. Wait, we have to have a word. <laughs> He said the word! Ah! (laughs) Our chairs just start talking. (laughs) Throw us off the chair. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking, the fucking genie comes out of your lava lamp and goes, ha ha ha. And here's Cowboy Curtis. (laughs) (laughs) Who's it, Lawrence Fishburne? Yeah, he's Cowboy Curtis. Yeah, Yeah. Uh, Morpheus. All right. See ya. Ciao, you later. Follow us. Subscribe if you're not. No, just follow us around town. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Mm. Maybe, like, get <laughs> Just follow streams. him in round town. Yeah. Oh, he's asleep. Chat you later.